Welcome back everybody. So this is gonna be a quick update video for you guys on ticker symbol SMCI. And before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas, swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups and you're gonna learn then definitely check out the Patreon link down below in the description. And now let's get right into it. On SMCI, it's down 1.70% and again on Friday, another fresh new all-time high. Now, if you guys are actually watching all my videos on SMCI, I said it in my last video that this thing can go up to 1200 and possibly up to even 1230. And you can see we got really close to it on Friday, 12. 29 and then we saw a rejection now also keep that in mind guys any stock in this market goes up in a straight line it's going to come back now that does not mean that you have to go and short it but we all know that this thing is extremely overbought and anytime we could see a pullback and that is why you know i played smci a few times and i'm not touching it right now to see if this thing can actually hold right here but look at all these daily candles right here, guys. Last three daily candles right here. Uh, look at the bottom wick right here. And then on Thursday, we actually got a hammer candle. And on Friday, another follow through, fresh new all time high going up to 1200. And above 1200, got up to 1229. And then we saw that pullback. Also on Friday, I mean, look at this right here. 1092 low for the day it was pulling back really bad and then what happened guys again a long week here on bottom this thing rallied back up and trading at 1140 just before closing only down 20 dollars on the day so this supports so far holding but if you look at my screen just after closing nvidia came down a lot of the things are coming down here in this market and this thing is extremely overbought and I said it so many times in my video, you can play this as long as the support can hold. And especially if you're playing this, make sure you have your stop losses in place because if this thing breaks a level, you're going to see, you know, this thing coming down rapidly. And in that case, you don't have a stop, you're going to lose a lot of money. Now, if you look at my screen, it's down right after closing $27, 2.37% and now trading at around $1,112. So going into Monday morning, watch this support guys, right here, 1,079 to 1,080 right here. This is gonna be your line in the sand for this uptrend to hold on and continue this move all the way up to 1,300. Soon as this support breaks right here, you're going to see a dump off down to 1,000 to even 995 right here. And that is also a strong support. I actually played this from here and this thing paid a lot of money just buying one call next morning this thing exploded so you gotta know where to get in where to get out you cannot just short it you know anywhere you cannot just buy that dip anywhere you have to wait for that timing and timing is the key here on smci so going into monday morning watch this support it must hold right here 1079 to 1080 and below that immediate drop down to 1000 and possibly down to even 995 and then we have this gap down here 927 so even if we get a pullback all the way down here to this trend line right here this uptrend that would be around this gap right here and so far even if we get a pullback well that is a nice juicy pullback as long as the support can hold this uptrend right here and this gap actually get closed and then we see a rally back up to the upside.
and here is my x account and if you guys are on there definitely give me a follow and there is no subscription nothing you gotta go through and you can always ask me a question right here on x now here's some fantastic trades from today and uh, some of them are swing trades and i'm going to share this play with you guys right here on meta so this is where i actually got in yesterday it was at 517 getting some puts you can see right here 465 and this thing gave away four percent from my entry it was a massive right here took some profit you can see right here selling keeping half position right here and selling for a nice profit this was a fantastic swing trade and i was actually willing to hold even longer but you can see big drop today again pumped up this morning but gave away all the gains and now it's down on the day now here's the biggest one guys and that is why yes you can play nvidia stock but do not go and buy something like you know more in the money calls friday is the best time to play this and i got this wrong ran up to 100 it was actually thousand percent but ran up to two thousand percent and i'm going to show you guys i got in a bit early right here and then this thing pumped actually came back right here i took a bit of a profit right here i think it was 50 percent and then my position was underwater for just a couple of minutes and then you can see i actually held on and then massive massive drop all the way down here and this picture i took right here after that this thing dropped even more so it actually went over 2000 percent massive massive trade on nvidia stock now some of the trades i'm not even sharing and there is so many i cannot even share all the trades right here on x here's another one mstr and i actually called it around 10 26 a.m getting some 1300 puts 8500 a piece for next week and it was right here on this green candle and just after five minutes look at this drop all the way down here from 8500 got up to 11,000 now this is not 1100 11,000 and from there guys it was dropping even more I actually kept one runner and that runner got up to 13,000 which was massive now all these trade ideas and especially if you guys are serious about trading and you want to make money you want to learn and you want to be disciplined trader definitely it's worth every penny check out my patreon and that link will be down below in the description and let me show you guys another thing right here if i put all these moving averages right here on this daily chart we got 5 13 20 and 50 right here look at the 20 day moving average moving up it's actually a positive slope we got a nice bull trend and it's sitting right here guys look at this 912.76 so that's gonna be a strong support right here even if we get a pullback down to this level right here to close this gap down here at 927 it's going to find support around this level and also we have 20 day moving average sitting at 912.76 now to the upside guys watch out going into monday session it's going to find resistance right here and that is based off and let me just take these off and that is based off this hourly chart right here and you can see it's going to find resistance right here at 1165 and soon as that breaks you're going to see a move back up to 1200 and possibly up to even 1230 and the next stop will be 1300 now don't get overly bullish here on smci only play what you got don't try to go and buy anything anywhere because if the support is not holding guess what it's going to drop significantly and why i'm going to show you also that because it's getting really really overbought and things can come down rapidly also if you're shorting in that case you got to have a stop loss as well because even shorting this thing is not easy so look at this rsi now daily here we got 71 and uh, look at where it was before guys 97 now look at the weekly here 94 so do you think this is actually healthy and can just climb up even more i don't think so so be careful especially buying the dip 
And if you're buying the dip, make sure you have your stop losses in place because you know this thing can take a lot of money from you if the support is not holding. And also if you're shorting, you gotta be careful on both sides. And that is why these levels you gotta watch really carefully and the candles. And you can see you know, how I predict uh, this rally here. We got this long wick and it was holding right here. So I got in and guess what? Next day, massive pump. Look at this pump all the way up to 1165 plus. And on Friday, another fresh new all time high. Now I sold my calls right here. And if I was actually in until Friday, that could have been huge money, probably like $20,000 in just one call. So that is massive guys. Now SMCI, you can make money, but also you gotta be really careful when the weekly RSI is sitting at 94 and 95. And all these levels, you gotta watch really carefully, especially this support, 1079. If that gives up, just like I said last time right here, that we could see a drop all the way down here, close to 1000 and possibly lower, we got that exactly here, and then we got a big bounce. Support was holding, and this gap is still open. So now, if this thing wants to cool off, yes, we could see a pullback all the way down to this gap, and then we have all these moving averages right here also, it's going to act as a strong support, and that is gonna be a better opportunity to maybe grab some calls. But like I said, I think I said it already two times, be careful buying the dip, and also be careful you know, uh, shorting it here at the top because yes, things can stay overbought for a long time and this thing can push all the way up to even 1300 plus. But on any trade, you gotta protect your capital and that is the way to trade SMCI, putting a stop loss all the time. It does not matter if you're trading shares or calls or puts, make sure you have a stop in place. Otherwise, you're going to lose money on SMCI and you need to watch all these levels, all these moving averages carefully to trade this thing and especially look at the hourly chart and daily and weekly to see where things are going. And I hope that helps and I'll definitely uh, keep you guys updated on SMCI going into next week. And if you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. And when I see it, I'll definitely give you guys an answer.